Hi Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you this card. This card is from my August Card Pals. That's the colour is Lilac. So I thought I'd do this one for them. Um, to make this card I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. And I also have now two pieces of white card stock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Um, I don't need that one. And there's the one I've got. Right. To do this, it's watercolour. It's the colour of the background. It's not purple posy or highland heather or anything like that. It's watercolour. Now I've already done it for today. That's these. This was an A5 and I sprayed it. I think it went like that. And I cut it up. Ready for card for today. And you can see how mottled it is. And something different. I thought I'd give it a go. I've seen it on YouTube. Or was it Pinterest? I think it was Pinterest and I thought oh I like that so I give it a go I didn't do it the way she did it um, I just did it my way like you do but I'm going to show you how I done it so this is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and we'll be stamping on um, this one I quite like that one I'll keep that for another time so I have got, just to stop the mess, because it is a messy process, a piece of card in there, in this little box. I've also got my spritzer spray, and I unscrew this, and I've got some Highland Heather re -inker. Now, I put two drops of re -inker in the spritzer spray, put my tube back in and shake it up and then I make sure I've got it the right way this time and I did it before I sprayed myself in the face so and then I sprayed the water all over this looks alright doesn't it And then, to get some dark patches, I added two more drops to what's left in the tube. Now you can, if you want, Um, dry this with your heat gun I should try that but my heat gun um, cut out because it overheated so I am going to leave that like that to dry overnight that's what I did with the the one I'm going to use today. Just push it up a bit. Just get it to go around, up and down, and leave it to dry. You can obviously blot that if you want with a tissue. Let me get a tissue. And just blot, leave a pattern on it, and then lift it up. And that way you get different shades again. And, and then just leave that. 
just try and get all the puddles out. I should put that to one side. And then it will dry up something like these. Now this will wash out. You just take it to your sink, run it under the tap, and it will just wash, wash out lovely and clear. That's why I didn't mind doing it again. So we will get stamping on. So I said I'd use that bit. I need to show you the stamp sets I'm using. Right, I am using three. I'm using positive thoughts for the flower because I like that flower. I'm using Parisian Beauty just for the script. And I'm using Very Versailles just for the greenery. I would have used that script but I cannot stamp it without um, getting it wonky. I can't stamp it straight at the moment so that's why I'm using the other one. For some reason I just can't stamp it straight. So get started we're going to use Mossy Meadow. I'm going to turn it this way and we're going to stamp the leaves from very the same we're going to stamp it on stamp it off and then again but further up off all we're doing no I, I did another one here like that clean the stamp Right, that's that one out of the way. It's not much green there, so I'm just going to stick a little bit of green there. That's it. Happy now. Get rid of that. I know it's still only July here, but getting August's card done now a treat for me. Right, with the script, make sure I stamp this up the right way. No, it's that way. All I did was stamp it down that half of the card. Go out, go in, out, out. Like that. Right, that's that done. <coughs> right. Now with gorgeous grape, we're going to stamp three flowers. to start with I'm going to stamp one here and one here and we're also going to stamp one here and we're going to cut it out do that and now for the sentiment I'm just just used have a beautiful day from very Versailles got that here have a beautiful day and I need to put it 
near the edge. So right, I'll cut that straight. Right, that is all our stamping done. Right, now what I'm going to do, I've got my brush, a brush, pick up some purple ink and I'm just going to just go over that flower before I cut it out, like that, just to take the white off it. That's what I want to do with that. And then with this, we're going to go around the edges of it. And then into the corners. And that is it. That's all we're doing with that. Clean my brush again. I've got a cup of tea on the table and I'm wiggling it. Put away the ink. Get rid of that. Alright, we're going to cut this flower out. Remember when you're cutting out by fussy cutting, something like this, just turn the card and not the scissors. You've got it done a lot quicker. If you just turn the card around and keep your scissors and watch what you're doing. <coughs> I was looking at the camera then to see if you had me in, if I was in focus. Our flower. Don't need that. Don't need that. Oh, I need the big one for this. In fact, I use my little trimmer just to trim that off. Right, let's put this card together, 
We've got a card base, our glue, put a bit inside first. in gems on this because one does have to go to France and the other one uh, is the UK got to try and keep the post down right, and then we want a dimensional because we're going to put that on there and that from there but first of all I forgot about this just want to take the darkness of it. I don't know if there's enough on there. Oh, there is. That's it. Just goes to show my brush isn't clean properly. And put that there. And that will be stuck on there. If we can find. That's it. So let's stick this bit Place that just there, a bit lower than the other one, but that's all right. And that is my card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So all I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.